Hi guys, I have a couple of sanguinors to show you today and uh, the reason for that is I've had a commission from a, a really nice gentleman and uh, uh, called Martin and um, I want to experiment more with uh, the true metallic metal technique and uh, I've used it previously uh, I think the, the biggest miniature I've used it on in the past was my sanguineous uh, model so if anyone's interested in that I'm sure you can find it through my video history but basically working uh, with these two sanguinors it enabled me to uh, try and perfect the technique a little bit more and actually go for a slightly different finish between the two sanguinors but as you can see um, I'm really pleased with the results um, it took me a long long time to paint these and you can see uh, for example on that power sword there that was uh, the non-metallic metal there was all done with a with a, a brush and uh, I wanted to replicate the um, power sword on the Sanguinor from the GW website and uh, I've got to take my hat off to uh, the artist there it's very very complicated and uh, <laughs> I struggled uh, painting that power sword but uh, glad I took the time to do it I think it's paid off in the end and as you can see as I'm turning the Sanguinor around on the turntable you can see how those metallics reflect uh, light uh, so real um, I mean it's not as easy as putting down the metallic and letting it do it I mean it obviously there was four different uh, metallics used and then blending between the metallic colours to get that effect but uh, it's worth the time and effort in the end I think uh, now going on to this Sanguinor model it's painted in exactly the same way using the same Vallejo um, liquid metallic metal paints but I went with deeper oil shadings and also two um, satin varnish coats as well to knock back the reflective properties of that metallics so it's more non-metallic metal than uh, th than the other version and um, I did a bit of airbrush work on this but it was on the power sword there um, to get those lightning effects and uh, side by side um, let me know what you think guys I mean put comments below which version do you prefer do you prefer the highly reflective uh, version with the uh, non-metallic metal power sword or the more duller, um, deeper shaded uh, Sanguinor, the one with the, the lightning power sword. And uh, if any of you guys out there say, well, I prefer the non-metallic metal power sword, but I prefer the darker armor, can you swap it around? I'll shoot you. <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, obviously, uh, for you, Martin, whichever Sanguinor you prefer, obviously that's the one that I'll send when the commission's completed. So, you know, you just let me know which you prefer, and obviously... Uh, that will be the one that uh, you can have. But um, I just really enjoyed uh, painting them. Uh, all the efforts paid off in the end. Uh, they took me a fair bit of time. But, um, you know, beautiful sculpts. Uh, this anatomy on these uh, guys uh, is fantastic. It really is. Uh, so hats off to the uh, sculptor there. Uh, the one um, sanguine you can see is a tiny little bit of narrative on the base there. I added... Um, a blood angels uh, slain head there uh, okay right so here this is pretty much exactly the metallics that I used to paint this with you got the brush cleaner but don't be fooled by the name it's basically 70% proof alcohol and you can use that to a clean your brushes which is essential and uh, uh, b to actually thin down those metallic paints there which again if you want to start building up the colours uh, in highlights you need to thin them down otherwise you're going to start ending up with you know a pretty uh, messy paint job and uh, all these colours got used uh, so starting with a copper base red gold uh, then old gold and a mixture of old gold and silver for the extreme highlights and then silver for the uh, hard edge highlights so that's it for this one guys um, let me know what you think please rate comment subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one